take a little beans break for a minute. Hear the breaths of this little cat. Do you hear a little kitty cat breaths? Do you guys hear Beans' little kitty cat breaths? I know, that's the one thing, like, people are like, oh, cats, you know, like, some people, like, you know, have a fucking problem with cats, but it's like, you know what, bitch? Purring. Pur cats purr, man. It's the most magical thing. They vibrate. It's awesome. I love being a part of it. I love feeling their little vibrations when they purr. I like putting my little ear up against her and hear it's like hearing it, you know, like in there purring around. Um, it's like it's so it's so good. Did you see um, toxoplasmosism isn't worth the purr? That is such crazy shit. I'm so okay. Let's just Draco mus. Do you know dogs also carry that fucking parasite around too? And so do a lot of other fucking creatures. It's not just cats, first of all. It's not just cats that have this parasite in their poop, okay? It's not just cats. It's it's a lot of fucking animals, dogs included. Uh, so, you know, you can get it from your dog. And by the way, you guys are the ones, like, picking up shit, like, with your hands, you know? It's like people are like, oh, it's gross. You have a box of shit in your house. And it's like, yeah, well, I'm not fucking picking it up with a thin layer of a bag between my hand and the fucking turd when I take them out for a walk, you know? It's like I have a scooper. My hand does not touch the poop. It scoops into the scooper, and then you put it away, and you throw it away, you know? You throw it away. With dogs, they shit on your floor, you know? I mean, cats don't shit on your floor, you know? It's just like... But everyone's like, oh, toxoplasmosis. You just like this animal because it, your brain, you have a fucking brain parasite. It's like, oh, you really can't imagine someone liking a cat because someone thinks cats are cool. They're so awful <laughs> that, like, you have to have a brain parasite to fall in love with a cat. Get the fuck out of here. Cats are beautiful. <laughs> they are fucking beautiful as an artist. Um, as an artist, I, I am just never... As, as someone who's sensitive to aesthetics, I'm very sensitive to aesthetics. I'm sensitive to everything, but aesthetics also. And it's just like, I am always caught by the wonder and the beauty of a cat. I mean, they're just such beautiful creatures. I mean, they have these lines to them and these curves that are just amazing. I mean, they're just, they're just beautiful. They're beautiful. And it's like, not to say that dogs aren't beautiful too, but like they don't have the sinuous lines that cats have. Like cats just have this grace and power to them, you know, this like, like this ultimate tension, you know, of just like, ugh, it's just cat geometry is really special. Cat geometry is really special. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm a big fan. I think they're majestic. I think they're beautiful creatures. There's a reason they were worshiped in Egypt. <laughs> there is a reason. Um, you know, it's like another thing. It's like, okay, so so dogs were domesticated. You know, we, were, we domesticated them. And that's why they like to hang out with us. Um, and the love of a dog is very special. And it's very beautiful. And it's really awesome. And like, yeah, dogs are cool. All right. But like, cats have never been domesticated. We didn't domesticate cats. Cats just started hanging out because they felt like it. They were just like, oh, we're just going to start hanging out with you guys. And we were like, okay. And then we just started hanging out. And then we've been hanging out ever since for thousands of years. I mean, yes, there's also the whole, I mean, there's a practical element to it where we store things like grain and then that attracts things like rats and like other vermin. And so cats come along and they're like, well, I love eating rats, so I'll just take care of your rat problem for you. And then people are like, well, then you can stick around, you know, like you're pulling your weight, you're actually cool. And so then cats and people have developed this relationship. Um, but it was never like they haven't been, they just started hanging out because they wanted to. It wasn't like they were domesticated from like, you know, like wolves, like dogs were. It's like a whole different thing. Um, so uh, yeah, so cats are awesome. I don't know. <laughs> cats are the best cats are the beans are she's so pretty she's so fucking pretty i was like trying to draw her the other day but she keeps moving too fast but it's just like ah oh, i just look at her every day and i tell her how beautiful she is every day and every day i'm struck by her beauty i'm just like wow i'm so lucky to have such a beautiful little creature in my life i get to touch her little kitty body <laughs> and i get to I get to feel this little cat and listen to her little purrs and also um it's really interesting, like cats, like when they, they learned that human, somehow they figured out that humans 
respond to a specific frequency that like babies make like babies when they when they cry they cry in a specific frequency range of hearing and like our brains are attuned to those frequencies so that when you when you hear it you automatically like it really you know you're programmed to like want to help a baby you know like this fucking frequency and cats uh apparently when they meow to us which by the way they're meowing for our benefit they do not meow to each other this is something that they do to talk to people uh when they when they meow and when they whine and stuff they will use those specific (laughs) that frequency range that is the same frequency range as babies so that's like kind of why like they're manipulating us with our love of our, our programming to to help babies uh and using that to their own advantage own advantage and it's like that's pretty cool like uh, mad respect mad respect it's cool that they just like talk to us um and it's and it's also like every cat has develops a special language with their owner that only the owner and them understand you know but every cat has a way of communicating with their owner and uh and you know there's a specific you know there's a specific meow for meal time there's a spe- specific meow for like let me out you know there's a specific like you know what your cat's saying to you over time it takes a while to build that language but um but it's really, it's really cool. Um, and I think that like, uh, you know, I like the fact that they kind of med- meditative, you know, they do some kind of meditation where they're like eyes are closed and they're sitting there, but they're not asleep, you know, they're just meditating, you know, they vibrate, they meditate, they um, talk to us. I mean, it's pretty cool. I think cats are pretty neat. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's pretty pretty cool animals uh i don't know and they're very like i don't know they're much more of um they're like a pet for an introvert and like dogs more like i think more extroverted people tend to go towards dog relationships and more introverted people tend to go for more cat relationships uh because like in a dog relationship dogs you know they need that master hierarchy you know you need to have the alpha dog and you're supposed to be the alpha or they're the alpha if they don't respect you i mean they but they have a hierarchy you know there needs to be a hierarchy there and uh, they need that they need that discipline and then you know it's like all this stuff um and i don't know i'm just i just don't want to be in a relationship where i have to be the master you know like i don't respect that like (laughs) i don't know i want to be i want to be in a relationship with somebody who has their own thoughts and feelings who respects themselves as much as they respect me that we have a companionship. I'm looking for a companion. Okay, I, I respect companionship. I, I don't want, I don't want a relationship where like it's a it's a dominance thing. You know, I'm I'm more about that egalitarian life, which is very difficult. I mean, humans also we we just need hierarchies. We need power hierarchies, um, especially I think men really like because I mean if you look at all the systems that we've built and men have built most of the systems that we're in if you look they're all power hierarchies you know whether it's like the pope you know of the church or it's the president of the United States or the prime minister or the CEO whatever of a company there's always like this hierarchy and it's important and it's a thing that we have and it's a thing that's a part of our lives and that's cool but um you know I, I like having relationships where you have a peerage and you're on the same level you know, and so you get that with a cat. And I respect that. You know, I respect that cats have respect for themselves and they're not going to let you just do whatever. You know, if you fuck with them and you upset them, then they'll let you know. They will piss on your pillow. They will run away. I, You know, another thing I respect cats is, you know, dogs. A lot of dogs, if they're abused, most of them will stay. They won't run away. Like they'll just continue to allow themselves to be abused because they're in this power hierarchy and so like they're the submissive and like with a cat like cats don't really put up with that on that level not to say that some cats you know probably don't run away but i think that more often than not a cat would be would run away from a traumatic abusive situation um which is like that's smart you know, like, yeah, like, I have more respect for that. <laughs> like, it's like, don't let, just let yourself, like, yes, like, get out of there. Um, get out of there. Uh, so I respect that, you know, like, I don't know. And, I, and each cat's so different. They all have such different little personalities. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oh, man. See, your brother's cat kept raping your cat. So he, so he took off. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Cats will leave. They're like, fuck this situation. I'm out. 
And it's like, yes, I'm like, that's a smart animal. <laughs> like I have respect for that animal. <laughs> like, you know, I have so much more. And also too, it's like the way that dogs and cats deal with trauma. You know, it's like a lot of dogs when they are abused and traumatized, they're just forever fucked up. I mean, forever. Like they're just, I mean, there's a few dogs that like they get into a better situation, they brighten up and like they're cool and like, oh yes. And they're so grateful and they're happy to be there. But I find that more often than not, when I've interacted with, with animals, with dogs that have been abused, they never stop being that abused animal. And they're always like, they just have some weird tick, you know, where they're just like forever, just that fucked up programming and they'll never be able to escape it. Whereas with cats that I've met, again, it's like once they get out of that situation, you know, there may be some scarring, you know, with their personalities left behind, not to say like they're, they're gonna be touched by the experience, but like a lot of them seem to be able to move on and like rebuild their lives, you know? It's just like, again, it's like mad respect, mad respect. Um, I see a lot of myself in cats, you know? It's like I see, I see, I just, I tend to identify with them a lot more than I do with, with the dogs. Um, so, you know, uh, but yeah, but cats are definitely more for like an introverted type too. And I just, I don't know, I love that like, you know, she makes me work for her affection. I don't know, I'm into that. like. It's like with dogs, they just love you no matter what, you know? It's like, it's so easy, you know? It's like you come home and they're just like pissing themselves. They're so excited to see you. And it's like with a cat, it's like, they're like, no, you have to seduce me. Like, make me like you, you know, make me want you. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I see the game. Like, let's, I'll play a game with you, little girl. Um, I like the seduction aspect also that's, that's with cats, you know? So, I don't know, it's a different type of love. It's a different type of love. But it's more like I said, it's, I feel like cats, cat relationships is like companionship like you have a companion which i'm more interested than a companion than being in charge of somebody you know it's like i think that's cooler but i like dogs i don't have anything you know if i ever i don't think i'd ever own one but if i did it would have to be the laziest dog of all time it would have to just be a lazy piece of shit dog who doesn't want to go on walks all the time (laughs) because like i don't want to go on walks all the time i like to go on walks but i don't want to have to be chained to taking a dog on a walk twice two to three times a day every day you know like I don't want to have to do that um that's just too much for me so you know I if I was going to have a dog it would have to be a female or it'd have to be a piece of shit lazy dog like like a bull bulldog or something that like just fat and doesn't want to like go anywhere <laughs> this is like fat and doesn't want to go anywhere. um 